Selling printable wall art on Etsy is so saturated or all of the good niches are already taken are just a few of the comments that I get all of the time about selling printable or digital wall art on Etsy. So in this video, I wanted to show you a trending style of wall art that still has relatively low competition, how easy it is to actually make them, and then how to basically automate the mock-up and the listing process over to Etsy. So my first step is to head over to eRank, which is a Etsy keyword research tool. And I usually do this with any product that I am looking at doing any research on or maybe thinking about creating. And in the top search bar, I will just type in the basic type of product that I'm looking to sell. So for this case, it would be printable wall art. After that, if I am a new store or advising a new store of the process, I would usually tell them to search by Etsy competition and rank this from the least to the most. That way it's all filtered with the ones that are going to give you the least amount of competition and you can find some good ones hidden throughout here. So the one that I found interesting was this one right here, which has a relatively steady search throughout the year and it still has a low amount of competition, which is light academia. And I was really interested in this because I know all about the dark academia and the elements that go into that, such as like books and maps and scrapbooking type elements. Um, it's usually moody. There can be some like witchy vibes thrown in there too, if you wanted to add that celestial or um, more witchy again type aesthetic to it but for this purposes i hadn't seen light academia pop up uh, very much so i wanted to create this so when i went over to etsy to do some research i just typed in light academia wall art and then i went ahead and chose all filters and changed this to digital downloads just so i don't get any results that are actually physical items then i went ahead and clicked show results and then I'm sorting by the top reviews because that will give me the ones that have sold the most or have the highest amount of reviews up here at the top. And then it'll just give me a much more clear idea of what is actually selling in this particular niche. So as you can obviously see, it's actually light. It is um, very, what would you call this? Um, it, it relates more like to scenic and um, I guess a little bit of cottage core thrown in there, but there's some definite academia elements like the Grecian wall head um, and the, or bust is what those are actually called. Um, there's window elements, dragonflies, I'm seeing birds and wings and lots of floral elements as well. Some of these are being sold in um, bundles and some of them are actually being sold um, just individually. So then using my other favorite keyword research tool ever be, which is already installed in my browser, I will just click on product analytics because this is going to give me the exact number of what is actually selling. So I have um, blurred out the names of these individual shops, though you can see them if you type this in or have ever be, um, just to protect the innocent in case they do not want to be showcased on YouTube. So um, as you can see, there are lots of different results that have in the multiple hundreds. There's also lots of different results that have one to four months to nine months um, as far as the listing age, which is this column here. I find that this is really helpful to see if there are shops that actually have new listings up that are performing well, especially if you are a new shop and trying to find a way to break into the Etsy platform. So now that I validated that there are several um, designs in this particular niche selling. I'm just going to do a little bit more research just to see the styles and kind of across the board um, what the general feel is for this niche. Um, I would say never to copy, but definitely take inspiration from what is selling so that you can incorporate it into your design, making it more unique and um, something that stands out in this sea of everything that um, I mean, there is a lot of different um, 
styles going on here, but I do see a lot of florals um, and a lot of windows. Um, there's definitely a lot of woodland type animals going on. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind when it's time for me to design mine. So next I'm just going to move over to Kittle, which is my design software of choice. And I'm just going to click on new project, which is right here. And for this one, I'm actually going to choose this poster size, which is a template that's already preset. And that will change that to inches. And I'll just make sure this is switched to 300 DPI and then click create. Um, I am gonna zoom in a little bit so it's not so big here. And then I will just go ahead and click on the tab Kittle AI. I did already format this prompt that I'm going to be using for this style here. So I'm just going to copy that and then add that in here. I did see that most of the results were in an acrylic paint style. So that is what I'm going to choose. Kittle makes it really easy to actually choose the different style of your image so that you don't have to really think about it if you know you have a particular style in mind. So I'm just going to click on acrylic and then generate image. And if you are having trouble prompting or you need help with your SEO and finding trending products like this, I do want to take this moment to let you know about my new done for you product prompt and SEO club. It just opened up about two days ago and we already have over a hundred members in there. Every day I handpick a trending product um, to sell on Etsy, whether that is clip art or Tumblr wraps or SVG files, digital papers, invites. There's a lot going on in there. And then I format the prompts for you to use and those are formatted for um, software like Kittle and My Designs and also Midjourney. And then I also give you the SEO title and tags that go along with that. Um, there are also new design tutorials added in there that are exclusive to the membership every month. And then there is a live Q&A call that we will be having monthly. The first one is set for June. So if you do want some help with that, I highly recommend that you check that out. And the link for that will be down in the description. So now that this is generated, I forgot it, that I needed to change the aspect ratio to a 9 by 16. So I'm going to go ahead and redo that. Okay, so now that that's generated, that would work perfectly, although I'm not loving the colors. So I want something that is more along the lines of everything that I saw, which is very natural, muted, beige, white, brown, tan colors with maybe some black thrown in there. So I'm actually going to go back and add in a color palette. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch that out all of the way. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the tan showing just because I feel like it gives it more of a 3D effect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, click on AI image upscaler here, just to make sure it's a really clear version of this, even though this is being created um, in 300 DPI, I just wanna make sure that it is upscaled. And then I'm just going to click on optimize quality and download. So since a lot of these were being sold as bundles, I'm going to create a set of three and just basically change out this typewriter, which is right here, to be a different subject um, and hopefully get the same results as far as the style goes. Okay, so I like this one a lot. It kind of went back to that blue and adding in the colors that I didn't like as much before. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just because it adds a little bit of difference. So download again, actually optimize um, AI image upscaler and then optimize quality and then download.
Okay, and now that my final one has downloaded, I'm just going to fill it out the majority of the canvas space. I really like how this one turned out with both the paint, the uh, dictionary type paper, and then the moth with the roses. So, oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, I just clicked AI image background remover and we definitely don't want that to happen. So AI image upscaler, and then we'll go ahead and download this one. Okay, so now that all three are downloaded, it is time to mock them up and then list them to your Etsy shop. So I am using V45, which is an app that will allow you to mock up your listings. It will zip your files for you and it will add some of your SEO and your title description and then you can push it directly to your shop. So I am just going to click on this right here and the link for this will be down in the description below. But I'm just going to click on digital art listing creator and uploader for Etsy. And then I'm going to select images from my device. And you can choose all three at once. So I've just selected all three of my wall art prints and once those are uploaded, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, and so now that all are uploaded, you can type in a few words of what your um, product is so it knows kind of what to grab as far as your SEO, your tags, and your title. So I'm just going to type in light academia wall art printable. Next, I'm just going to choose the category uh, wall art, which is right here. Okay, so now it has given you um, kind of what it thinks the title is, which is light academia wall art printable, typewriter with flowers, a butterfly on a newspaper, and painting on a book. So very little literal of exactly what these images are. Um, most of the tags are pretty usable, except for there's not really, really any specific um, note to uh, light academia. So I'm definitely going to add that in on a few of them um, just to narrow it down and niche it down as specifically as I can. Okay, so after I've added in everything additional as far as my SEO, I'm going to leave the description as is. I have a copy and paste description that I have, um, that I've just actually used ChatGPT along with my tags and have a template that I just say, create an Etsy listing description for these set of keywords and title and it will generate it for me based on what the product is. So since I usually sell Tumblr reps and sublimation designs, that is what mine is created for, but you can definitely do the same or add in your description. So the next step is to preview your image options. So you can preview image one and there are lots of different um, varieties of mockups that they have included here. So I'm just going to do this first one will be wall, or actually I'm gonna do a collage, no, I'm not. I'm going to do the um, wall art mock-up for the first one and you can definitely change these around once it's pushed over to your Etsy so it's not something that is set in stone um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose um, a collage of images with aspect ratios then I'm going to choose um, a single image again the next one I will do, there's several different variations of wall art mockups, so I will probably choose that again um, a few times. If you wanted to, you can click the add watermark. So if you are selling digital files or Tumblr wraps, you can definitely do that. And then you can choose to add your shop icon on there as well if you've already uploaded it. 
but that is pretty much it. So the next step is to go ahead and push this over to Etsy. Okay, so I've actually went and altered a little bit of my SEO um, just to include a few more things that this could potentially be found by or for, um, such as like the butterfly, the typewriter, and Victorian. And my next step is just to create listing. So that should usually only take a few minutes and then you can move over to your Etsy store. I always have mine checked to just go be in draft so that I can make sure that there's, if there's anything that I need to fix, that it will be um, just my draft so that I can fix it. So I'm just clicking on edit right here. Um, and as you can see, it has pulled in all of the different mock-ups. Um, this is the aspect ratio one. So this is showing that I wouldn't probably put these ones up that are single like this, just so they couldn't be stolen. Um, but the mock-ups that are generated are really, really nice. So it shows them being used in, um, well, mock-up or real life, but it really helps to not have to mock these up individually um, in something like Canva or Photoshop um, or any other software. So you can choose the one that you think looks the best. Um, and then you can zoom in a little bit. And so I'm going to use this one just because I like the wall being the teal color. And then moving down to my thumbnail down here, I'll actually zoom in quite a bit so that you can actually see it up pretty close. So almost the entire way. Um, it still gets enough of the frame and the lamp just to look um, like it is mocked up. And then I'll just click done. And by then my video should be uploaded as well. Um, they do include a video, so it'll just go through a slideshow of any of the images that you've added. And that is basically it, but it does um, help to have that video created, even if it's just a slideshow to help you in those search results. So then moving down here, you'll see that all of your files have been zipped up here and then you can edit your description if you already didn't and you can change your price as well here. And then finally, you can turn on your Etsy ads and set it to automatic or manual depending on what your preference is for um, when it renews. After that, it's time just to hit um, publish with changes and it will be live on your Etsy shop. So hopefully you found this helpful as far as my process goes um, through start to finish from finding something with lower competition, creating it, and then an easy way to mock it up. I do use different forms of mock-up depending on what I am creating. Usually if I'm creating tumblers, I will use a bulk mock-up tool just because I generally have a VA doing the listing part of it anyway. But if you don't have a VA, then V45 is definitely helpful as far as um, being able to take away a lot of that listing process. Again, if you are interested in getting help with prompts and SEO and trending products, then be sure to check out my new club. The link for again for that will be in the description and I will see you all in the next video.